you deposit $6,000 in an account earning 6% interest compounded monthly. How much will you have in the account in five years? The first step is to determine which financial formula will help us to solve this problem. So let's look for some keywords. The first keyword is that we deposit 6,000 in an account. Notice we're depositing something one time only, so we have just an initial deposit. And moreover, that account earns interest compounded monthly. Those two combinations together, one investment, compounded monthly, tell me that I need my compound interest formula. Let's recall the compound interest formula. The compound interest formula states that the future amount in the account or the principal after n years is equal to the initial principal or the initial deposit times 1 plus r over k raised to the kn. And in this formula, p sub n is our future amount, right? That's our future principal. p sub 0 is our initial amount or our initial deposit or our initial principal. R, of course, is our interest rate. K, that's the number of compounds per year, right? That's the number of compounds per year. And N, N is the number of years. So we take all of the information we have in the problem We'll plug it into this formula, and then we'll come up with our solution. What are we looking for? We're looking for how much will we have in the account in five years. In other words, we're looking for P sub 5. And what is P sub 5? P sub 5 is our initial deposit, which is $6,000 times the quantity of 1 plus, and what's our interest rate? Our interest rate is 6%, so that's 0 0.06 divided by k. k is the number of compounds per year, but we look for that keyword monthly, and monthly tells us that k has to be 12, because there are 12 months in a year. So that means I'm going to put 12 as the denominator, and up in the numerator, I'm going to have 12 times, and what's the number of years? 5. Let me just do a little bit of simplification. That means our future amount after 5 years is 6,000 times the quantity of 1 plus, and now I could do a little division on my calculator. 0 0.06 divided by 12 actually comes out to a pretty nice decimal. That's 0 0.005, and 12 times 5 up in my exponent, well, 12 times 5 is just 60. So actually, let me go down one more step of simplification here. That tells me that the amount in my account after five years is 6,000 times the quantity of one, ooh, no, hang on a second. Let's write this together. One plus is 1.005 raised to the 60th power. We are super close to being finished. Now, I can pull out Desmos if I want, or I can just type this on my scientific calculator, you know, my little handheld. And I think that's what I'll do. I'll start with 1.005, and I'll raise it to the 60th power. And that's going to give me 1.34885. Okay, 1.005 raised to the 60th gives me about 1.34885, approximately. I'm going to then multiply that number times 6,000, and that's going to give me my final result. I get that the principal after five years is $8,093, and this decimal that I get is 1.100915, but I'm going to round that to the nearest hundredth, or if I like, because I know this is money, to the nearest cent. So that tells me that after five years, the amount in the account is $8,093 and 10 cents.
That's it.